Hello and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Annie Cyrus. I'm glad to announce that we are back with our special programming called Because You Asked, where I will answer the questions that comes my way from our lovely audience who like to be educated on the topic of Islamization in Sharia, especially in America. I picked a question for today that I would say probably was about 20% of all the questions I have received in the last few weeks. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try to answer that to the best of my ability. But before I get there, let me just remind everybody how you can actually get your questions to me and also be in touch so you can receive all of our other materials, which are video interviews, videos, radio, and articles. So you can grab your cell phones in America, text my name, which is A-N-N-I, send it to 88202. Then after that, when you're signed up to our free text alert system, you can actually text your questions to that very number and I can see them and answer them in upcoming episodes. If you don't want to do that, or if you're not in America, you can actually go to our website, americantruthproject.org and sign up for free to our email or newsletter alert. You get two newsletter a week that has all of our material. And as I said, when you get those, you can actually reply to them with questions you might have for me to answer. Third and last way that's free and easy to do, you can follow us on Facebook at americantruthproject.org or you can follow our Rumble or YouTube channel under the same name, American Truth Project. And you can just put your questions via messaging or comments. So all sort of ways for you to send your questions to me and I'm here to answer them. So let's get to today's question. The question in different forms I was asked is, is it true that Muslims lie? I have to break this down, but I'm going to try my best to do this within the next two, three minutes. Do Muslims lie? Well, everybody lies. Yeah, everybody lies. Do Muslims lie specifically about their so-called religion of Islam? Yes. If they are outside of Islamic countries. Why do I say that? If you go to Islamic Republic of Iran, my motherland, you go to um, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iraq, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, any of these countries. Their governments are not lying about Islam. If you read their constitution, their penal code, anything, you'll see the truth about Sharia. That's why in those countries they are stoning for adultery, they throw gates off the building, they chop hands and legs of people for theft, because that's true Islam. So they don't lie over there in Islamic country. Their leaders, their muftis, their imams, even their people, they don't have to lie about Islam because they control the country via Sharia as constitution. Now we come to Western countries. That's where I'll say yes. Now even when I say yes in Western countries, I'm going to break that yes into two categories. One, I give you an example. I was at a speaking engagement and a young lady who claimed to be a Muslim called me out on my mistake and said, you know, I'm sorry for what happened to you. I'm sorry you were sold as a, a wife and a sex slave to a man when you were a child. But I need you to understand that nowhere, nowhere in Quran does it say it's okay to have a wife that's a child or underage. I said, okay. Do you have about two minutes for me to use my phone to pull up for you evidence to see who's telling the truth? She said, sure. And generally, this lady was very sure of what she's saying. I opened the Quran. I actually started reverse. I started with chapter 65, verse 4, where, as you can see on the screen, it says, if you're about to divorce your wife who has not reached the age of menstruation, then 
the time to wait before letting them go after divorce, divorce is three months. I didn't even, I gave it to her and I had my phone hand on like, read this. She read it, she's like, what? I said, would you like to explain to me how can you divorce a wife that is underage clearly because she hasn't even started her uh, period. You have to marry them before you divorce them, right? Her face went pale. She genuinely had no idea. And of course, me being me, I topped it with chapter four, verse three, where it says, you know, if you fall in love with an orphan girl, all you gotta do is pay the price. If you pay for a price, you can have her. And as she was reading chapter four, verse three, she looked at him and she said, so you're telling me that seriously and for real having four wives at the same time is actually part of Islam. I said, yes, ma'am. She handed me my phone. To be fair, she apologized for accusing me of lying and she walked away. Until that day, she told everyone that child pride isn't allowed in Islam. Having four wives isn't allowed in Islam. She was lying, but unknowingly. She was lying because she wasn't well educated in what she calls her religion. Because as I've said on many other episodes and other interviews and speaking in these other places, uh, majority of Muslims don't actually read the Quran by itself. They just listen to what their imam has to say or father or mother or grandmother, somebody. But the moment that I showed her the evidence of what she claimed to be my lies, she came to realize, I don't know what happened after that. I don't know if she went and finished reading the Quran. I don't know if she stayed the Muslim. That part doesn't, well, it does matter to me, but that's not the point. The point is some of them do lie, not because they're lying, because they don't know they're lying. They defend the religion that they're not familiar with. And then there is part two, those who lie specifically because they know what Islam stands for and they know if they don't tell the truth, then they're not going to get the support they are seeking to further their agenda, which is Islamization. I'll give you an example. We have Ilhan Omar. Ilhan Omar knows exactly what Islam is, but she's going to lie about it. She will. Um, same thing with Rashida Talib, some, same thing with Landa Sarsour. Now, that's a different question that I have received, and I promise I will answer that. But this is as a general of an answer without getting into one hour of discussion I can give to the question of do Muslims lie? As I started saying, everybody lies, but do Muslims lie about Islam and what it stands for? Those over there in Middle East who are already, uh, who have already conquered lands and own people's life under Sharia, no, they have no reason. And as I said, you watch, you know they don't lie. Over here, they do for those two reasons, as I said, either they're not educated on the topic, so they, they lie because they don't know it's the reality, or they are lying to further the agenda of Islamization. If you want to know about the rules and regulations of lying on the Sharia, on this very channel, I have done a BYA or, BYA or because you asked about the differences between Tekiya and Taria, where I got into details. So make sure to watch that. I will include the link on the description of this video. Thank you so much for all of you. As I said, 20%, many of you send this question. So thank you for asking the question. I hope I was answered, able to answer it for you. Uh, I have about 30 more questions to answer. I'll get to them, I promise. I do this as regular as I can, but that does not mean you cannot send me your questions. If you have them, as I said, text them to 88202 after you text my name so you are signed up so I can receive your text messages. If you don't want to do that, just sign up to our email uh, subscription and via that you can send me your questions or as I said, just make comments on this video and make sure to share this video because this might be a question that one of your friend, family, somebody, co-worker, somebody has, so you might answer them. Thank you so much for joining me today and don't forget uh, American Truth Project is a 501c3, which is a nonprofit organization. We are here. We are doing this free to public only and only because people like you care enough to make a 100% tax deductible donation. So make sure to do that simply by going to our website, americantruthproject.org. Thank you so much and stay safe.